Hey, Dan. Hello, Nikki. I am writing. No, not writing. I'm videoing. I'm recording on Sunday evening, uh, November 10th, 11th. November 11th, and uh, let's see. I guess before I tell you about what I've been up to, I want to show you something quickly. Um, Yesterday was 68, 69 degrees. That's better. 69 degrees, and it was um, um, God, it was really warm. Um, and today, it started out at near 55 degrees this morning. Um, when, when I woke up about 5:30, 5, 6 o'clock maybe, and um, and then as the day progressed, it just got colder. So now we've got. Let's see if you can see that. Uh, too reflecty. Let's see. Let's try it this direction. Can you see what's on top of the recycle bin? Yes. That, in fact, is snow. Um, so it may come as no surprise to you that, uh, phew, sorry, somebody farted, um, may come as no surprise to you that I went swimming today. Uh, we had a regular Sunday swim, and, uh, uh, um, I was the only one, uh, that showed up to swim. Kathy and Nathan came, uh, they did not swim, they just watched. In horror, I think, the water was 46 degrees, and the air temp was 37 degrees, and it was windy and rainy uh, when I went. Um, but actually, I actually have to say I enjoyed it, uh, for reasons uh, known only to me. So, quickly, because this camera looks like it's dying, let me share that, um, uh, other than that, I've been hunting. Uh, it's hunting season again from last Saturday the 3rd through today, uh, the 11th. So it's a nine-day season. And uh, opening day I did not go because that was Galen's uh, 16th birthday, or would have been. Uh, I'll talk about that in another video. Uh, but on Sunday I went, I actually shot three deer. Of the six people who were out during the nine days, I <laughs> there were only three deer shot, and I got them all. Lucky me. Uh, the first one I shot was on morning stand. It was um, absolutely a beautiful morning. And I'm sitting in the woods with a shotgun across my lap and I'm reading The Hunger Games, which somehow seemed uh, appropriate. And it was a buck. Uh, I looked up from my book and saw a buck. Uh, and I tracked it, shot it. Tracked it meaning tracked it with my gun. Shot it. And only then did I discover that I was mistaken in the number of points it had. Um, in order to kill a buck in Minnesota, it has to have at least four points on one side, and it only had three. And um, so I had to call the game warden. He had to come out. He seized the buck. Fortunately, he donated it. He's got a list of people to donate it to, which is great. Uh, but he seized the buck and took one of my tags, so I only had one tag left. So later that day, we're doing a drive. And uh, I've got an 11-year-old boy named Will, who's the nephew of one of the other hunters, one of the brothers. And he's with me. He thinks I'm lucky that I'm going to see some deer. So we're sitting there. Honestly, it's a, it's a wonderfully warm day. I'm falling asleep. And uh, he says, deer. And I look up, and there were three does and a buck. And two of them come up on this old logging road we're sitting on. And I get, I shoot one, then I five seconds shoot another, um, and end up killing them both. Uh, so I kept one, one of the other hunters got the other, because when you're group hunting in Minnesota, you're allowed, another hunter's allowed to tag a deer that you shoot. Uh, so it was a good, it was a good, uh, a good week. Uh, I mean, I guess a good deer season. So I've got deer coming into the uh, freezer. I will make sure I send you both some um, summer sausage, no cooking required, though if you want to, you certainly can, Dan. Uh, and that's it for now. I'm going to close this out because my camera's about to die. Um, and I will upload yet more video. I've got a lot to talk about. Um, by the way, Dan, I loved your mustache. You looked like uh, a Victorian, what do they call them, high riders or high wheeler? High wheeler, I think they are. The old Victorian guys who used to ride with little caps, ride on the, on the bikes with the big front wheel. 
So that was you. Uh, I liked it. Um, but I like everything you do with your face. That sounds awkward. Uh, well, we'll just let that um, people interpret that the way they will. So uh, I guess in light of today's swim, in which I wore my uh, patriotic suit, go USA.